Scientists have not yet been able to reconstruct someone using artificial body components. They lack the necessary technology. On the other hand, a new artificial eye pushes cyborgs closer to reality. So, what exactly is an artificial eye? An artificial eye, often known as a prosthetic eye, can help persons who have lost an eye due to an accident or disease enhance their look. It's also known as glass eye, or a fake eye. It's a shell covering the components in the eye socket, not an eye. The prosthetic eye consists of the following components. The round, whitish outer shell was completed to match the second eye's white tint. The iris and pupil of the opposite eye are painted on the round middle section. This technology, which resembles the anatomy of the human eye, is about as sensitive to light as an actual eyeball and has a quicker reaction time. Although it lacks the telescopic and night vision capabilities that Steve Austin has in the television program The Six Million Dollar Man, this electronic eyepiece has the potential to provide clearer vision than human eyes. The dome-shaped retina, a region at the rear of the eyeball coated with light-detecting cells, is responsible for the human eye's broad field of view and high-resolution vision. Just like nerve fibers transmit information to an actual eyeball to the brain, wires linked to the artificial retina transfer readouts from those sensors to external circuitry for processing. In about 30 to 40 milliseconds, rather than 40 to 150, the artificial eyeball senses changes in brightness faster than the human eye. In the weak light, the gadget can see roughly about as well as the human eye. Although its field of vision isn't as wide as 150 degrees that a human eye can see, it's better than the 70 degrees that regular flat image sensors can see. Because the artificial retina includes around 460 million light sensors per square centimeter, this synthetic eye may theoretically sense far better resolution than the human eye. We have approximately 10 million light detecting cells per square centimeter in a genuine retina. However, this would need to take separate readings from each sensor. Fan's team utilized a magnetic field to attach a tiny array of metal needles, each 20 to 100 micrometers thick, to nanosensors on the synthetic retina to demonstrate that thinner wires may be attached to the artificial eyeball for better resolution. Each cable hooked into the synthetic retina in the current arrangement is around one millimeter thick, large enough to contact many sensors at once. Only 100 of these wires can fit across the back of the retina, resulting in pictures with a pixel count of 100. You can improve the look of the afflicted eye socket with an artificial eye. It is far superior to wearing an eye patch or bandage for most individuals. An ocular implant and prosthesis prevent the tissues in the eye socket from developing to fill the empty area if the entire eye is removed. After the original eye is removed and a prosthetic eye is implanted, the person will lose vision in that eye a prosthetic eye will not be able to restore eyesight. A glass eye was formerly composed entirely of glass. An artificial eye is often composed of durable, plastic acrylic these days. The prosthetic eye has a shell-like form. The eye is designed to be worn over an ocular implant. This implant is a distinct hard, rounded object surgically implanted more profound in the eye socket and remains there permanently. Before being implanted, an ocular implant is frequently wrapped with live tissue or a synthetic cushioning substance. After surgery, a ball-shaped ocular implant is permanently and profoundly inserted to remove the native eye. A replaceable prosthetic eye is then made to fit over it. The procedure for removing a damaged eye is generally done under local anesthetic. Although general anesthesia is seldom required, it is a possibility. Sedatives and pain relievers may be administered through the veins to alleviate anxiety and suffering. After prosthetic eye surgery, oral antibiotics may be administered for many days. Antibiotic eye drops are typically recommended for a while, usually a few weeks. The eye socket is covered for several months as it heals. After the eye socket is healed, an ocularist creates wax imprints on the front of the eye socket. To cover the ocular implant, the ocularist makes a unique prosthetic eye. A new iris, a hued component of the eye, and blood vessels on the white region are painted on by hand to match the healthy eye. The cost of an artificial eye in the United States now ranges from $2,500 to $8,300. A scleral shell prosthesis can cost anywhere from $2,700 to $8,300. Depending on where you reside and the work that has to be done, the charge may be more or lower. It should be noted that quoting an amount without previously inspecting the patient is quite tricky for any ocularist. The major of ocularists provide a free initial consultation visit, and the fees will be communicated at the time of your session. Whether it's your first or tenth artificial eye, 
The movement of a new prosthesis is a severe issue for most patients. While your onboard certified ocularist will fit and build your artificial eye to maximize all possible activity, it's good to brush up on the basics of artificial eye movement to comprehend your aesthetic outcome better. Your medical history is one of the most critical elements in deciding your level of artificial eye movement. Your ocularist will thoroughly analyze your medical condition and surgical history and do a primary assessment of the eye socket during your initial evaluation. Each of these elements contributes to the ocularist's decision about how to fit and build your artificial eye. It's also important to remember that artificial eyes don't move. They transmit the available muscle movement. If you wear a scleral shell ocular prosthetic eye over a blind eye, for example, the eye is engineered to move with your eye movements. So if you have regular eye movement in your blind eye, you should be able to keep it while wearing your scleral shell. Patients who have had their eyes removed by enucleation or evisceration surgery are subject to the same rules. An artificial eye will be fitted explicitly over your ocular implant and will move in sync with the motions of that implant. A prosthetic eye can move, but not as quickly or thoroughly as your other healthy eye. An artificialized pupil does not shift in reaction to light. As a result, the pupils of the two eyes may appear to be unbalanced. After surgery, the eye socket may continue to alter its form. Further fitting and modification of the prosthetic eye may be required for weeks or months following initial insertion. Scientists have created the world's first 3D artificial eye, which outperforms current bionic eyes in some circumstances. Its capabilities even surpass those of human eyes, giving vision to humanoid robots and giving sufferers with visual impairment fresh hope. Scientists have spent decades attempting to mimic the structure and clarity of a biological eye. Still, current prosthetic eyes, primarily in the form of glasses connected to external cables, have inadequate resolution with 2D flat image sensors. A 3D artificial retina, made up of an array of nanowire light sensors that replicate photoreceptors in human retinas, are the fundamental component that allows such achievements. The researchers linked the nanowire light sensors to a bundle of liquid metal wires that served as the nerves behind the human-made hemispherical retina during the experiment. They successfully duplicated the visual signal transmission to reflect what the eye sees onto the computer screen. Those nanowire light sensors may be directly attached to the nerves of sight-impaired people in the future. It differs from the human eye, where bundles of optic nerve fibers must pass through a pore in the retina from the front to the rear before reaching the brain. The light sensors that are presently strewn throughout the human-made retina might each feed signals through their liquid metal wire at the back, removing the blind spot problem by eliminating the need to route through a single area. That is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more.